John, what is the name of our next player? Bob is Karen Oates. Come on down. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Karen, I welcome you to Contestants Row. Thank we were you. talking during that last commercial, and Karen is the reigning Miss Nude America. <laughs> You're not? No, I'm not. No, she's here someplace. Yes. All right, what is the next item up for bids, please? A ceiling fan light. Casablanca's is Victorian ceiling fan and light kit in an antique pewter finish with the reverse airflow feature. A beautiful way to save energy in both summer and winter from the Casablanca Fan Company. Karen, you get to bid first on that. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Mary? Eight hundred. Five twenty-five. Five twenty-five, and Ronnie says. Five hundred and fifty. Five hundred and fifty dollars, and now, Michelle, it is your bid. I can't hear you. Oh. What was the lowest bid? The lowest bid is $525. The highest bid is $600. $1. $1. Has she done the right thing? The actual retail price is $730. Karen, you're the winner. Karen is the winner. Karen will play our next pricing game right up here. Karen, congratulations. What does she have a chance to win next? A new catamaran. <laughs> this is the track 14 from AMFL Court, the speedster that delivers all of the excitement you can handle. You'll love the speed and thrills it's easy to handle from AMFL Court. It's a prize worth $3,450. And it is a prize that will belong to you. If you hit this bullseye, now to hit that bullseye, you must pick out one of those products and then tell me how many of that one product it takes to total five to six dollars in price. Do you have any questions about how we play the game? No. Then my question is, John, what are the products today? Well, Bob, first, rice long grain and wild rice, the special San Francisco treat. Now the flavor of rice long grain and wild rice has more wild rice. Niagara is America's number one stray starch. It helps prevent the deep penetration of soil and stain. Cecilia, delicious natural strength lemon juice, not reconstituted, just real taste, flavor, and aroma of fresh sun-ripened lemons. Cecilia. Old London Melba Toast, the crispy, crunchy snack that's deliciously low in calories, available in a variety of flavors. And quick and tender oriental noodle side dish adds new delight to dinner. Cooks in just three minutes, three delicious flavors, quick and tender from Nissan Foods. Karen, I want to know which one of those products you are going to use to try to win the prize. The, the starch. You're going to start with the starch and hope you hit the bullseye with that. How many of those starches do you need to total five to six dollars in price? Uh, four of the Niagara. Four of the Niagara's would do it. Okay, each one is a dollar ten. How much is four? $4.40, so you didn't do it, but you hit the target right about there. Now, forget the starch, and tell me which one of the remaining four products you'd like to use. You have to get between five and six dollars. Five and six dollars. Now, don't start trying to build on the four, 40, no, okay. Uh, let's see, I'll go with two rice. Now, do you think two rices are gonna be five to six dollars? You're not using the 440, are you? Okay. Oh, I see. Yes, okay. you forget that. Put that out of your mind. How many? Eight noodles. You want eight noodles? The noodles are down here on the end. Now, each of the noodles is 52 cents. How much is eight? 416. Well, you're still on the target anyway, right about, about here. Now, I'll give you one last shot with one of the three remaining products. Eleven rice. Eleven rice. Each one is $1.29. How much is eleven? Fourteen ninety. Well, I, I'll give her, I think that's the biggest score we've ever had on this game. You went over more than anyone ever had. Now, we don't even put a marker on the target for that. However, you can still win if 
the hidden bullseye is behind the noodles or the starch. Now let's start with the starch. That's where you started. Is the hidden bullseye here? No. Is the hidden bullseye down here with the noodles? No. Would you have won if you had hit it with the rice? Yes, if you had just hit the target. Well, I thank you, Karen, for trying. Bye-bye. And we're going to try again with the big wheel in the second showcase showdown after we do a little business with you.